story of Every Nation Church Sydney is above all a story of the faithfulness of God. His faithfulness to hear the prayers of his people. His faithfulness to move on our behalf. His faithfulness to bring a group of people together from different parts of the world to form one church family. Though the church was planted in 2001, the story begins earlier than that. In April of 1996, Ron Flynn attended the Morning Star International Conference in Los Angeles. Studying church history and seeing what's changed the world and covenant relationships and challenging people to not just barely make it. You've been and pat yourself on the back. Look where you're going. I've got to break the tape. The finish line is right here. Both Ron and Rosemary attended the following year and returned to Sydney with a passion to see a Morning Star Church planted in Australia. While continuing to faithfully serve at another church, the Flynn's began to pray and intercede for the birth of that church in Sydney. I went in, firstly in 1996 was when I first sort of reconnected with Rice Brooks and Phil Vanasso, and uh, I just rang them up to see what they were up to. And I remember going by myself and uh, you know, I felt very alone, but I thought this is this is a real step of faith. And I remember getting into the conference and uh, just being blown away by just uh, just the, the power of God, the presence of God. We were so strong. The people were so wonderful, and I felt at home. And I thought this is I'd really like to see this back in Australia. And then we decided to go the next year, so we went back the next year and. Um, I'm sure you had a very powerful time there. Yeah, you know, back in 97. Um, I remember at the time the, the, the popular song was, you know, Ask the Penalty of the Nations of the Inheritance, and the whole mm -hmm. conference and, you know, just the vision of Morning Star was about reaching the nations. And I remember God speaking to me so clearly and saying, This is where, you know, you've, you've, got, you've got to be planted. And um, so, and obviously, there was no church here. In, and so when we came back, um, Ron and I, um, so I tell our pastor and that we were going to be a part of Morning Star and um, he was fine with it and so we just stood in faith for quite a few years after that just believing for yeah. a church to be birthed here in Sydney. Yeah. As the next few years passed, the Lord began to bring the people together. In 2000, Alvin and Marissa Rebelado moved from the Every Nation Church in Singapore to Sydney. In early 2000, Roy Rickerfort moved to Sydney and married Mary Carter. All three of these couples had a vision and excitement to see a church birthed here in Sydney. In July 2001, a team of American students from every nation did an outreach at the University of Sydney. Joined by Pastor Luther Mankow and Pastor Ken Du, the team reached many students on the campus. One of these students was Tim Huxley, who was greatly impacted by Pastor Luther and served in the church for many years. Pastor Luther, feeling called to stay and establish the church in Sydney, met with the Flynn's, Revilados, and Rikaforts to pray and strategize. On August the 23rd, 2001, the church, then known as Morning Star Church, Sydney, held its first service in the Uni Lodge Hotel in the city. Well, there was a real sense of excitement, um, particularly um, at the, we had the initial outreach with Pastor Luther and Pastor Ken Du, mm -hmm. and uh, a lot of fiery Americans. Um, <laughs> So it was, it was really very exciting um, and uh, you know there was quite an impact on the campus. We saw some students come in and uh, that was really good. And then uh, we just sort of got together as, as families. There was uh, the three families and Pastor Luther and uh, yeah, there was just a real sense of uh, excitement of what God was going to do. When you first arrived here in Sydney from Singapore, we prayed that God would plant the Morningstar Church here in Sydney. Soon enough, I received an email from Pastor Luther advising us that he will be coming to start a church. As soon as he landed, we organized a meeting with the Flames and the Rico Forest. And that was the start of a great exciting journey together. When we found out that Pastor Luther was coming, we got so excited as he has been our pastor during our university days. Having to help start the same spiritual family here in Sydney was just a wonderful answer of prayer from him. When we uh, first heard that um, uh, there, was, there was going to be an outreach and the pastor that was coming over, we were just filled with excitement. So when, when we first arrived here, we um, met with, the uh, first time I met Ron and Rosemary, uh, and uh, Alvin as well, and then Marissa, and so we uh, met. Yeah, it was really exciting, um, building the relationship with the Flynn's and the Rebelados, and 
because that wasn't really the first time we met. So getting to know them and passing with the relating us with them and, and talking about the church starting and everybody was excited and looking forward to it. As the months passed, that initial small group grew. More uni students began to attend and others who had attended Every Nation churches in other cities heard of the new church plant. With Pastor Luther moving his family to Sydney from the Philippines, the church was off to a great start, growing in numbers and relocating to a Marriott Hotel in Paramount. I remember driving all the way to the city every Sunday, having all the church equipment in the back of our car. I have to wake up early and be, to be at church early to set up and prepare for the service. There were times that we had to pick up some friends that they could attend the church. AJ was about two years old then, and Matthew, I just gave birth to Matthew during that time, and I remember preparing all these things on a Saturday night so we can leave early on a Sunday morning for the service. Then after the meeting, we would always have a plan where we could eat lunch together or go to some park and just fellowship together. I remember a work home. It's always on the plan. the plan, so we always have a party of chicken every Sunday. But in the great adventure that is following God, there are always some unexpected twists and turns. In April 2003, Pastor Luther was asked by every nation leadership to move to South Africa and assist some churches there. The church continued to meet at the hotel in Parramatta, with pastors flying in each week from Melbourne or Auckland to preach. With smaller numbers, the church began meeting in various homes as a small group. Convinced that the Lord wanted to establish a strong church in Northern Sydney, they continued to pray passionately and reach out to others. We learned that Pastor Luther was heading to South Africa. There were mixed emotions. We felt sad because they were going to leave, and but we knew that God had something ruined for the church. Though the dynamics were changed, we know that we knew at that time that it was just for a season something really big was going to happen. It was a bit of a, you know, a sad time, but uh, at the same time we were, we were quite excited. Um, when the pastor was mentioned that he was leaving, uh, you know, we were a bit sad because we we become so close um, with him. We just, we just held on. Uh, we, we still met together. Most of the time it's in this very room. We met, we had a small group here. We had a mini church here. We fellowship after that. We had lunch together. We became closer to one another, like Ron and Rosemary and Alvin and Marissa and, and the young men to the church have been so close. It became like a home meeting, but, but at the same time we weren't discouraged. We know that um, there was nothing great is about to happen and we just, we, we just so looking forward to that time. In June 2005, Pastors Sean and Trudy Morris and their three children arrived in Sydney. Formerly living and pastoring in Austria, Pastor Sean and Trudy felt called to minister in Sydney. The following month, Jason and Amy Hubbard arrived from the U.S. With one daughter and another baby on the way, they joined the church to serve as associate pastors. So, at the end of 2004, we were approached by Sean Morris, who we didn't really know that well at that time, about the possibility of moving to Australia to help with a new church plant. And at that time, we had never thought about moving to Australia. It was sort of not even on our radar. But as we prayed and a series of, of events transpired, uh, where we really felt from the Lord that this was the next step for us, that we were to move to Sydney and be a part of this church and sort of help relaunch this church plant. And so in the space of about five months, uh, we sold our house in Dallas. Uh, we found out we were pregnant with our second child and we raised our support to move to Australia. Well, when, when we heard the opportunity, we were very excited to uh, possibly come here Three years before this, some good friends of ours were moving to Australia, and I mentioned to Amy that that uh, would be something I'd like to do someday. So this was uh, an exciting adventure for us, and uh, something we were were really looking forward to being in Sydney to help Sean and Trudy um, restart this church and uh, to see this uh, city change. Coinciding with all this, there were outreaches to UNSW and Macquarie University. Jennifer and Io got saved at UNSW, and several other students were connected with and plugged into small groups. In July 2005, the church held its first services with Pastor Sean and Trudy at the Lighthouse Theater at Macquarie Uni. A second service was started at UNSW the following month. It was an exciting time. 
Over the next couple of years, the church continued to grow and prosper. More families and professionals were added to the congregation. We were blessed as so many passionate, excited people came to join our church. Our children's ministry grew from one or two children to a couple of dozen babies, toddlers and primary school kids. The church, now known as Every Nation Church Sydney, moved again to meet at Macquarie Park. In early 2007, Pastors Sean and Trudy moved on to serve with another ministry, and Jason and Amy became the senior pastors on February the 11th, 2007. In early 2007, Sean and Trudy uh, made the decision to, to move on to another ministry here in Sydney, and that presented the opportunity for Amy and I <laughs> to take over the church and to be the senior leaders. And uh, this was this was a time that we were in, incredibly excited and blessed and honored that that we were considered uh, to do this. But we were also, um, I think, you know, uh, feel, feeling a little uh, timid, and, but uh, but excited at the same time. And, and it all happened so quickly over just the course of a few months. We uh, found out what was happening, or, or the decision was made. And um, we made the transition and then uh, moved the church to Baronia Grove in February of 2007. Um, that was when and had a sending off service for Sean and Trudy. Pastor Ken Du came in. Joshua was here. And actually, my parents were here for that, um, which was a real special uh, thing for us. God has been so faithful to grow Every Nation Sydney from its original three couples to a thriving, passionate spiritual family. We have a vision to see Sydney reached with the love and power of Jesus Christ. Through our small groups, through community service, through the preaching of the Word and the moving of the Holy Spirit, every nation Sydney will continue to grow and thrive in this city. May God bless our church as we begin our 10th year. May God continue to inspire, empower and equip us to reach this great city. Happy anniversary, every nation Sydney. Happy anniversary, every nation Happy anniversary, Every Nation! Happy anniversary, Every Nation Sydney! 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 Happy anniversary, Every Nation Sydney!